Hi guys, I am gonna show you your first Earth Day project. This one is making your own swirly earth out of shaving cream. So the things you need are you need a tray, put your shaving cream on, you need your shaving cream, you need scissors, you need a paper, thick paper works better, but if you have thin paper, that works too. You need something to swirl with. Mine's a popsicle stick, but it could be a fork or a spoon or a straw, whatever you can use. And you need food color. I have blue and green to make my earth. You can make whatever colors you want. These are just the colors that earth is. And you need something to scrape it off with. It works best if it's something kind of thick. It can be a rewards card or a credit card that works well. Anything that's kind of thick, you can use one of your number cards or your letter cards and just wipe it off when you're done. But because you need to be able to scrape off your shaving cream for it to work best. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a big circle on your paper to be your earth. And then you're going to cut it out. Go ahead and cut out my circle for my earth. And when I put it down into the, the shaving cream, I want to make sure the orange is up and I can see it. So that way when my earth is done, it doesn't have orange on it, only on the back. So I'll cut out my circle. Boom. I'm going to throw that in the recycling, right? And now I'm going to take my shaving cream. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. And I am going to put some on my tray. We want it to be nice and fluffy. We don't need too much. We just need enough to be able to cover our circle. And we want to make sure that there's no spots where we can see the tray. The spots that we can see the tray are spots that you're going to be able to not have color on here. So. Now we have our shaving cream. See how it's all fluffy? There we go. Now it's all fluffy and there's lots of different levels and some spots are taller than others. That's perfect. Now I'm going to take some drops of my food coloring. First I'm going to do blue and I'm just going to drop them in. And if you don't have food coloring, this works with paint too. And then I'm going to take my green, do some drops of green. I think I need more blue. You can put some more blue in. However much you want to do. I'll put some more blue in. There we go. Because the earth is kind of more blue than green. It's got a lot of ocean. I just want to make sure that I get enough color so that when I put my earth on, it's colorful. Now that I have little dots of color everywhere, you see my dots of color, I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to swirl them. And I will show you what it looks like when I'm done swirling them. I'm going to swirl them together. And you still want to be able to see spots that are blue and spots that are green. You don't want them to be completely mixed together. All right, I think that is good. All right, so I'm gonna put this just off to the side. I can always wipe it up later. All right, so I swirled it all together. Do you see how it's all swirly? And you can see spots that are still blue, spots that are still green, and spots that are kind of mixed together. That's what we want. Now I'm gonna take my circle, and I'm gonna put, make sure the orange is looking at me, and I'm gonna push it gently onto the shaving cream. We don't want to push it too hard or your pattern will disappear. We want to just make sure that every spot gets covered. And I might make a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Shaving cream is washable and it's even more washable if you use paint instead of food coloring. All right, now that all my spots have been covered, and you guys can see that my circle's on there and it's all covered up, I'm going to take the edge of my circle and pull it up. 
And when you look at it, it's gonna look super swirly. But what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna lay it down nice and flat. And I'm gonna take my thing that I was gonna scrape with, and I'm gonna scrape off the shaving cream. And that's why this works best with things that are kind of thick. And I'm using a pattern card of some kind. Scrape it all off. Scrape it all off. So that there is no more shaving cream on it. Because then it'll dry faster and you can see the pattern you made. Because before it looked all mixed together, right? But now that all my shaving cream is scraped off, it looks different. You can see where all the swirls are. What do you think? Was that a pretty cool experiment? And if I wanted to, I could do it again. And I could use just the same color that's already here, or I could make a new color and put new color in it. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I can push it down. And when I pull it up, it looks super, hard to tell where the pattern is, but if I scrape it off, you can see where your pattern is. You can do this with lots of different colors, lots of different shapes. It's a pretty fun way to paint, huh? All right, friends, I hope you have fun making your very own marble earth. I have to clean up my mess and I will see you guys later. Bye friends.